class announced to the group that there was a new club, Eat Smart, Live Longer. And my first reaction was, I belong to 10 clubs. I don't need one more. <laughs> but uh, I decided to come and see what it was all about anyway. And uh, I didn't expect to learn anything. Um, I've been blessed by having a dad who was a nutritionist as a profession and my mother who grew almost all of our foods in the garden and canned them and froze and did that kind of thing. Um, I had as a background um, nursing education and the last 20 years was spent as a certified diabetes educator. It's one of the first in the United States. And uh, I taught people how to eat appropriately and to exercise to control blood sugar. So I really thought, you know, I, I know what I'm doing, so we'll see whether they know what they're doing. <laughs> so I came, I saw some people that I recognized, that I liked, and who I respected. Uh, Hazel Berger was one of them, and she got a lifetime membership to the club, and she's one of my inspirations. Um, after the meeting, uh, I decided, well, let me tell you about watching the video first. The video was very impressive. The speakers were um, world famous. Um, they had good credentials. They talked about research that was done in a very professional way across the world in large numbers, so you couldn't argue with you know, what they were saying. And I was really pretty impressed. So I decided that I would pay my dues, and this would be club number 11. So um, at the end of the meeting, I saw Karen and said, you know, I'd really like to watch that video, Forks Over Knives. And she gave me her personal copy, which I took home and watched. Wow, it knocked my socks off. You could not deny with the large studies that were done repeatedly, all showing the same effect of plant-based diet bringing about better health for people. There was no question. I was, I was really so. The one thing that I really needed to change in my diet was I drank one glass of skim milk with every meal for about 10, 10 years and I did it to reverse osteoporosis, and it worked. But until I saw that video, I did not know that the protein casing in milk acts like fertilizer for cancer cells. And I had had multiple skin cancers, and I didn't want to give it any fertilizer. So I went on a quest to find out what substitute I could have for milk that would give me the calcium, that would taste good enough to drink it. So I tried rice milk, I tried almond milk, I tried coconut milk, I tried soy milk, and there were pros and cons to almost all of them, and finally I settled on one that matched my taste buds. So now I'm drinking a combination that comes already mixed, um, rice and uh, coconut. And to me, it tastes like regular milk, and I'm happy. <clears throat> In October, I went to my family doctor for a checkup, which also included lab work. And when I went in to see him, he said, what have you been doing? I said, what do you mean? And he said, have you seen your lab work? I said, no. He said, look. He said, your cholesterol has really dropped. He said, um, your triglycerides, you're only 43, and that's at the bottom of the chart. And he said, you've lost 10 pounds. He said, what are you doing? I said, well, I stopped drinking cow's milk, and I stopped eating cheese, and I stopped eating yogurt, and I stopped eating ice cream. And I'm eating fruits and vegetables and grains and uh, a substitute for milk. He said, keep it up. He said, I am really impressed. He said, I'm going to tell my 
other patients that are struggling with this that they can come and see you. <laughs> so, um, we've got a deal. Um, I'm shunting information from our club to him. And so we're benefiting more than just our own group. delight. Uh, my biggest delight is losing 90% of my belly. For years, even though I was not overweight, I struggled with looking like I was three months pregnant. And I tried everything. I tried all of those exercise machines. I tried lots of different diets. Nothing worked. Guess what? Eating the way that is being recommended by this club does the trick. So I am happy to report that I no longer look pregnant. <laughs> um, I can put on clothes and not try to camouflage the bulge that's in the front, and it feels wonderful. I'm really happy about that. So this is my story. I'm really glad I came to that first club meeting and didn't miss it. I don't follow the plan 100%. When I'm in someone's private home, I eat whatever they serve. I don't give them the deal that we saw on the video. Um, when I go to a restaurant, I try to make the best choice that's available, and then I take half of it home. So I'm controlling the portions. And I can eat like this for the rest of my life. So I'm really delighted that I came and I learned. And um, I would like to uh, tell you about the uh, cruise. I learned about this from Karen. It's called the holistic, um, what is it Karen? Holistic Holiday. And it's March 1st through 8th. Um, the speakers on that cruise are going to be some of the same ones we've watched on the videos. Um, there's going to be chefs doing um, cooking demonstrations of healthy food. Uh, there's going to be exercise classes that are all inclusive. In other words, you don't have to pay extra if you want to go to yoga or if you want to go to step aerobics or whatever. And uh, I think it sounds like a great way to tour the Caribbean. So I signed up. Um, I heard the trip is almost so sold out. As of two weeks ago, they only had 200 places left. So. If you're interested, don't put it off. So I'm so happy that the club was formed. Uh, it's had a very positive um, influence on me. And I hope you consider making fruits, vegetables, and grains the big three in your diet. And if you do, you'll have a healthy and happy new year.